Hi, I'm Adam from EnglishAcorn.com, and in today's video, we're going to look at the objects bar for in Construct 2. So let's open Construct 2, and normally people are met with the start page if they haven't deactivated it from their preferences. So if you could just close the start page and then go to File, go to New, and create a new empty project. I double clicked then, but you can also go to File, New, select the project, then click on Open to open a new one. Now from here I'm going to press control and I'm going to scroll my mouse all back to zoom out. I'm using my middle mouse button to navigate but you can also use these scroll bars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert new object and I'm going to insert a sprite. Double click on that, click somewhere in here on, on the white space and let's say let's going to color him in this weird yellowy green color and this guy I'm using the mouse to actually draw so I'm not too talented with the mouse. I'm just gonna give him a little smiley face just to make sure he's happy. There we go. Now you'll notice that on the right once I when I did that this sprite appeared in this objects bar here and this is what the objects bar is. If you can't see the objects bar either here or from clicking on the tabs at the bottom then you need to go to view at the top this view tab and make sure that you have selected the objects bar here. Normally ob objects bar by default is placed here, but if, for example, if I click right click and click on floating, it's floating somewhere about. If you click on the object's name, then drag it to the right, drag it to the bottom, and then drag it to this square in the middle of this image, then it will place it as a tab at the bottom, which you can also reorder. Now, all the objects bar does, it lists the objects you have within your layout. So, for example, if I click on layouts here, right click, add a new layout, and I will add an event sheet with it. And then in this layout, I right click, new, insert new object, insert sprite, and then let's say, let's color this guy blue. Um, let's just color him in, and he can stare at space looking at you. He's now on a different layout to the previous layout. So the to the previous sprite. So while here in the projects window you can actually see object types as two sprites, here in the objects bar or the objects window you can only see there's one sprite uh, because the objects bar only shows the sprites that are available currently present in that layout. So if I go back to layout one and click on that, just watch what happens to this sprite. Uh, sorry, <laughs> double click to open it you'll notice that it's changed back to this sprite because the blue sprite isn't within this object. Now, there's something else as well. For example, if I were to click on this, then right click and click on delete, he's disappeared from this layout and he's disappeared from this object tab bar because the objects tab bar, window, whatever I'm calling it, only displays objects within the layout, but he hasn't disappeared from the projects bar. To get rid of him from here, you'd have to right click and then click on delete to permanently get rid of him, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on him and then I'm going to drag him back into this area, click on the layout and then you'll see that he's here. Also did you notice that when I clicked on the object type folder, that all the objects in there appeared in the objects bar. Okay, so let's click back on the layout, layout 1. Um, if, for example, I had this object then I right clicked and I cloned him so he looked exactly the same but he's a separate object um, if I right clicked on him and clicked on copy and then right clicked on paste this object is a copy of the top one and you'll notice at the top they have the same name whereas this object to the right although they look the same because I haven't changed the image yet this object to the right if you look at the name it has a different name which means it's a separate image altogether sorry separate object altogether um, these two are copies these two uh, whereas these are separate and you can see in the right hand side that there are only two different object types available so the objects bar doesn't list all the objects you have but the different objects the unique objects so I'll just delete this copy right click and click on delete and I'm just going to change the color of this guy um, actually I'll show you you can actually double click on the left and it does the same thing as clicking in the layout and I'm just going to change the color of this guy to blue by clicking on that fill button and clicking on the color oops clicking on the color and clicking on the color I want to fill 
Now these are roughly the same size but I'm going to reduce the size of this guy by clicking on these handles and I'm going to move this sprite above the other sprite. Sometimes during your game development, your app development, you may come across a situation where you can't see one of your sprites because it's hidden by the other sprite so you can't click on it to edit it. Every time I try and click on the blue sprite I end up selecting this green sprite. So the way to click on the blue sprite, I can come over here to my objects bar and I can click on the blue sprite and you'll notice that it's a smaller square and now if I use the arrow keys, um, oops sorry, I'm not going to use the arrow keys sorry, I'm just going to um, move him by going to the position here on the left and increasing his position let's say by another 100 so ch changing that to 300 and you see he moves out. So that's one another thing you can do, you can select and you can double click to um, change the different aspects of these objects here. So I can click on the sprite and I can come up here to this objects bar and I can change its name to green blob with smile that sort of thing and then his name changes here. So that's all the objects bar really does. You can click on this small arrow and it does actually absolutely nothing here. Um, if I were to drag this away and pin it to the side um, click on hide then yeah uh, that arrow there normally if I, pull, oh, if I would un unhide this, pull this away, bring this back down to the bottom this arrow is normally a folders arrow so if I were to click on a folder um, with a double layer so right click insert sorry right click add new folder then move him into the folder you'll notice that this has become dark so this guy who's now sitting within this object folder if I were to click on this top arrow, it takes me back to the parent folder which has these two guys in it. Um, so that's basically what objects is. In the next video I'll look at tile maps or bookmarks. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click on the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please visit my webpage and my Facebook page. Thank you very much for watching this. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments.